Just for fun, not super scientific, let's test the Blender startup time with factory defaults, first with Windows 11. So it's about a second. So let's enable all of the built-in add-ons, no third parties. So there's a hundred built-in add-ons, literally. And let's try again. Now oh, that's about four Mississippis. So now on Linux, uh, Manjaro, GNOME version, who knows anything about Linux? So factory defaults. Hey, that's faster than Windows. That's like half a second, maybe less. Now with all add-ons enabled, there we go. Oh, wow, I, I can tell any difference. That's pretty cool, bug. Conclusion is that I'm not scientist. This was not scientific by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> it was just for fun. Um, essentially, it started because someone was concerned that if you enable too many built-in add-ons in Blender, it would become Maya with its like two minutes start of times. And I didn't believe that would be the case, but I had to try it out just to be sure. And yeah, we're like really far from Maya start of times. The best I ever got in Maya was with an NVMe and I got one minute 30. So we're really far from that. Actually, I'm curious about Max uh, as well now. So this code enables all of the built-in add-ons because there's a hundred of them and you don't want to do this individually. So if you want to try it out, all you have to do is replace this code right here with your Blender installation path. I'm not entirely sure how uh, Apple Teeny devices work, but just replacing this and then uh, running it Clicking here should enable all the add-ons, and if you do that, just let me know because I'm kind of curious how long it takes in Max.